Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best bike pumps in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 13. Specialized Air Tool Comp V2 Specialized already makes a very good floor pump. But now it offers one of the smartest too. The Air Tool Comp V2 has a dual range pressure gauge, half of the gauge is for low pressures and runs from 0 to 30 psi in 1 psi gradients, while the other half is for high pressure tires and runs from 30 to 120 psi in 2 psi gradients. That means it's easy to read for almost any tire without the hassle of a digital gauge and batteries. It also means a cleaner workshop, one pump can replace a mountain bike pump with a low pressure gauge and a road bike pump with high pressure gauge. However, the gauge leaves something to be desired when it comes to accuracy. Our testing found that it reads 2 psi low for pressures up to 30 psi, then reads between 4 and 5 psi low from 35 up to 100. However, the variations are consistent and repeatable, meaning the air tool comp will inflate your tire the same way every time. Although we also wish the pump head had a bleed valve, we still use it regularly and appreciate its versatility across a wide range of tire sizes and widths. Number 12. Vibrelli Bike Floor Pump at 2 feet tall, the Vibrelli is a few inches shorter than the average floor pump, making it a more convenient travel companion. We found it easy to jigsaw into a trunk already overcrowded with bikes and gear. And since it's so light, it won't push your checked baggage over the airline's weight limit. Our testing found that the gauge was accurate up to 100 psi, although the graduations on the dial go all the way up to 160 psi. This pump is best for road and thin gravel tires. Although you can fill fat tires with the Vibrelli, it's not a high volume pump, so you'll get a tricep workout filling mountain bike tires. Although the shaft is steel, the base and handle are plastic. That's not a deal breaker but it means the pump isn't as robust as the more expensive ones on this list. But at this price, it's a great value. Number 11. Xiaomi Mi Mijia. Not necessarily designed for cycling use, the Xiaomi Mijia digital tire inflator replicates the function of the Fumpa in the only way that Xiaomi knows how, affordably. The Xiaomi offers the option to add up to 5 preset pressure limits, so you can quickly and easily flip between pumping up different tires at different pressures, and when it reaches the desired pressure it will shut off automatically. However, while the manual mode can get up to 160 psi, the preset modes are limited to a road bike unfriendly 65 psi. In our experience, the Xiaomi was good for around 14 inflations to 100 psi, however, compared to the Fumpa, the inflation was slow, and the thread on head is a little fiddly to use, but at a fraction of the cost of the Fumpa, it's a suitable solution for anyone looking for auto inflation on a budget. Choosing the best bike pump for you depends on your tire inflation needs, and in all likelihood, you'll benefit from owning more than one type. For example, if you're looking for a pump to quickly top up your tires before you head out the door, or only ever need to worry about tire inflation at home, the best option is likely going to be a floor pump. If you're in need of rapid roadside reinflation, then a CO2 inflator might be your preferred method. However, since each canister can only be used once, you could still find yourself stranded if you suffer a second flat later in the ride. Number 10. Topeak Joe Blow Booster Tubeless has been around in mountain biking for a while but as it becomes more popular for road having a booster is key to successful tubeless setup. The booster works by pressurizing a 1 liter air chamber to 160 psi before blasting the air into the tire to seat it properly on the rim. A simple switch on the gauge allows you to transfer between charge and inflate mode, releasing the charged air from the booster. The big gauge is mounted to the top of the booster making it easy to read while using the pump. The head uses Topeak's smart head technology to adapt to any valve type without the need to change any parts. A 152cm hose allows you to reach your valves easily, even if the bike is mounted in a work stand. Number 9. Lezine CNC Digital Drive Lezine CNC Digital Drive Pump is a professional pump with its aluminium construction and finish. Lezine has specced a digital gauge for clear readings which measures to a claimed accuracy of 97%. Lezine has redesigned the valve head, 
The new ABS-1 Pro uses a chuck that flips between Presta and Schrader and securely screws onto the valve. The valve head has a valve core tool that is integrated on the rear of the unit for tubeless systems. Lezine offers a range of seal kits and spares should you need to service your pump or wish to fit different valve heads, extenders, or hoses. Number 8. Bursman Maha Push & Twist V The Bursman Maha Push & Twist V delivers a good level of inflation and uses the company's evolved barrel structure, a CNC machined aluminium barrel which promises a smoother pump stroke. The wide base houses an analog gauge for pressure readings. Bursman uses a bespoke valve that connects to either a Presta and Schrader using a collar which is pushed down and twisted to secure. Removal simply involves lifting the collar to release and pulling the head away from the valve. Both actions can be performed easily with one hand. Number 7. Lezine Control Drive CO2 The control drive is a small 100% CNC CO2 head from Lezine that gives control over inflation. Whether a large blast is needed to reseat a tire or you are fine-tuning tire pressure, the knurled dial on the back makes flow adjustment easy. Advertisement In use, the control drive simply presses onto both a Schrader or Presta valves with no need to make any adjustment. The head will work with any size of threaded canister and lezine supplies a 16G canister to get you started. Number 6. Genuine Innovations Ultraflate Rather than a simple head that screws onto a canister, Genuine Innovations has designed a trigger system that makes accurate inflation easy. A safety switch on the back allows you to save leftover gas for later on and stops the Ultraflate going off in your pocket. The head is compatible with Presta and Schrader valves, as well as both threaded and non-threaded canisters. The holder will fit 16G, 20G and 25G canisters. The unit is also fully enclosed protecting your hands from the freezing action of the discharging CO2. Number 5. Lifeline CNC. Wiggles House brand, Lifeline, adorns a mountain of cycling sundries from tubes to turbo trainers for the budget-conscious cyclist. The Lifeline CNC CO2 is about as cheap as a CO2 head comes but this compact unit is more than a basic inflator. Although having to thread the head onto the valve is fiddly, once connected it creates a strong seal. Inflation can be modulated and a partly used canister can be closed for topping up tires later. Number 4. Silka Tatico Bluetooth Mini Pump The standout feature of the Silka Tatico Bluetooth Mini Pump is the Bluetooth connectivity that facilitates a large screen digital display of tire pressure by pairing with the iGauge app on your smartphone. For Silka, the motivation behind using this system was the ability to continue using larger precision parts which result in a more accurate reading, without the need to add a cumbersome dial to what is an otherwise pocket-friendly pump. For us using the product, the result is a mini pump that can provide accurate readings at the side of the road. While not rechargeable, the infrequent use will undoubtedly result in a very long time before the CR2032 battery needs to be replaced. As a standalone pump, it works flawlessly. The aluminium pump features an extendable hose for ease of connectivity, with a locking chuck that is compatible with both Presta and Schrader valves. The pump can handle pressures of up to 120 psi which is more than enough for any roadside reinflation. Of course, with the Silka name, you can expect an extremely high build quality and as such, the high price can be seen as an investment, don't expect to need to replace it for a long time. Number 3. Lezine Carbon Road Drive Medium Lezine has a well-deserved reputation for making high-quality precision CNC products, the Carbon Road Drive pump is no different, other than carbon fiber replaces the barrel and handle to reduce weight without sacrificing performance. The long body pushes a good amount of air with each stroke to get you back on your bike more quickly. An ABS flex hose allows a comfortable position while pumping up tires and although the head is not compatible with Schrader valves it will work with both threaded and non-threaded Presta valves. Lezine wants its pump to last a long time, so if the seals become a bit worn or you accidentally lose the hose, there is a seal kit and replacement parts available. Number 2. Blackburn Core Slim Mini Pump Blackburn offers two versions of its core pump, the Slim Road Bike version is the high-pressure model which can achieve 120 psi. Blackburn has paid close attention to build quality as well as product longevity by not only offering rebuildable internals but a lifetime warranty, too.
The core slim mini is pocketable but the pump is long so may be better frame mounted with the included attachment. A rubber seal keeps the pump from extending when not in use and stops grit getting inside the pump body, there is also a rubber dust cap protecting the valve head. The core slim is only compatible with Presta valves and features a thread on the head for a secure fit. A valve core tool is screwed into the bottom of the pump in case you need to tighten your valves mid-ride. Number 1. Topeak Race Rocket HP Topeak has been keeping riders on the road by making innovative tools and pumps for a long time. The Race Rocket HP is a compact and lightweight pump that will easily fit into a jersey pocket while still packing a punch with a max rating of 160 psi. Neatly stored inside the pump body, an extendable hose is combined with Topeak's smart head thread lock head. This head threads to the valve stem and allows both Presta and Schrader valves to be inflated without needing to change any fiddly internal parts. Topeak has added a handy built-in tool for tightening or removing valve cores as well.